Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience. If you are an existing subscriber, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. You're in for a treat. And be sure to click that subscribe button so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. So today's video is going to be on a palette that's by Laura Lee Los Angeles and this is the Nudie Patootie palette. So I had stopped by the Morphe store. I normally try to make it to the Morphe store maybe about once or twice a year. And I was going to the Morphe store particularly to check out the new Brontour uh, combination contour and bronzing palette. And you know, it's just kind of perusing around as you always do or as I always do when I go into the Morphe store. And I noticed that there was a display over to the side that was just kind of sitting there and it was like, drawing me to it. So I went over there to check it out as usual. I'm at the makeup store, Morphe specifically. So if there's anything going on at Morphe, I want to know what it is. And there was this palette. The packaging on this palette is super awesome because it's a long type of palette, uh, which is a little bit different from your traditional, you know, just square type of palettes. Uh, that are uh, out there right now. But this one is a little bit more of a longer rectangular type shape, I think uh, you would say that it is. It comes with this awesome mirror inside. So don't wanna blind you guys with that, but it does have a mirror. Uh, there are 14 nude shades in this palette and you get seven matte shades, five shimmer shades, and two foiled type shades. So this is what this palette looks like. It's a gorgeous palette. Um, it is one that I fell in love with instantly when I saw it. I thought the shades were absolutely gorgeous, but I was a bit concerned on how these shades would show up on my skin tone. I was, a, you know, I was kind of questioning whether or not they would, may turn out to be a little bit too gray. But I tried to walk out the door without this palette, guys, and I couldn't. It was like it was calling me back. It was. Nudie patootie, nudie patootie. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. You know, go ahead, put it in the bag. I am here today to give you guys this look. And I created this look using this nude, this nudie patootie palette. Um, it's a super gorgeous palette. To my pleasant surprise, it does work very well or show up or play very well on deeper skin tones or women of color. So if you'd like to see how I obtained this look using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette, then keep watching. As usual, I'm starting off with my face moisturized and primed, and I'm going to be using my P. Louise eyeshadow base. Uh, it's in the color number five, and I'll be using this eyeshadow base just to get my eyelids prepped for my eyeshadow application. And I'm using the color Uncover for my brow bone color. So I'll be tapping this, so I'm just tapping this color into place and then just blending it in. And now I'm using the color Strip uh, as my transition color. So um, I'm just tapping this onto my eyelid and then blending it in. Uh, I'll be building this up to my desired intensity, but this is a beautiful, it's a soft yellow, not too vibrant type of yellow, but um, to my surprise, this is one of the colors in this palette that I questioned, but this color is beautiful on my skin tone. I really like it a lot.
And now I'm using the color Butt Naked and I'm using this on the outer V of my eye and then just sweeping it across my crease. And I'm going back into the color strip once again just to blend everything together. And now I'm going into the color Nakey Nakey just to deepen up or to darken up that outer V and my crease just a little bit. And now I'm going back into Butt Naked once again. I just want to use this color to just blend out uh, the harsh lines that that darker crease color may have created. I'm also going back in with a little bit more of the strip. This is a beautiful color so I want to make sure that I don't lose this color in the process of me blending everything together. And I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape to carve out my lids. And I'm spritzing my brush just a bit with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And now I'm going in with one of the metallic or the foiled shades out of this Nudie Patootie palette. This color is called Jaybird and this color is stunning it's absolutely beautiful um, it did require that I wet the brush because I think if I would not have wet the brush I would have gotten a little bit of fallout but I wet the brush and I had no fallout at all but this color is absolutely gorgeous so I'm just taking my time and just patting this shadow into place on the lids right where I have added my concealer or where I have carved out the lids. Very pretty color. And I'm going into Butt Naked once again and I'm going to be using this, just tapping this into place on the outer V of my eye to blend in or soften up or bring together I should say the Nakey Nakey which is that darker brown color that I used on the outer V with the metallic or foil shadow that I just uh, placed on my lid, the Jaybird. So I really like the way an eye look comes together when you have more of a gradient type look on the lids or that seems to work a lot best for me. This look is coming together rather nicely. And I've added mascara, liner and lashes. And now I'm going to do a little color correcting around my mouth area. I'm going to be using my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the color SX14. And 
And now we're moving on to the complexion. I will be using the Cover FX Natural Finish Foundation. This is in the color G90. And I'll be using my foundation brush and my beauty blender to apply this foundation. This is a lightweight foundation and it really works well during the summer. And to conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's in the color Warm Sand. And I'll be blending with my Beauty Blender, but I really like this concealer, you guys. It does not crease on me at all. I absolutely love this concealer. This is a full coverage concealer and as you can see, it gets the job done. Very nice, I like it. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, setting powder in the color Translucent Medium uh, to set my concealer. And I'm going to do a little contouring with the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick in the color F15. And now it's time to set my foundation. So I'm going to be using two of the Too Faced setting powders. One is in the color Translucent Medium and the other is in the color Translucent Deep. I've used the Translucent Deep before and it showed to be or it was just a little bit too red. So I decided to mix the two of these powders together to set my foundation today. I think it turned out beautifully. And now I'm doing a little bronzing with my Gorlon Terracotta Bronzer in number 7. And I'm adding a little blush. And I'm moving on to highlight. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Amplified Palette and I'm using the color Yes. This palette is gorgeous. It is at a very affordable price. I believe you can pick this palette up at Ulta for about $20. This is a palette that I would definitely recommend that you have in your collection. And now I have spritzed my face down with some Fix Plus and I'm using my handy dandy fan just to dry it down. And now I'm using the colors Nakey Nakey and Butt Naked to smoke out my waterline. I'm 
going to add a little bit of the color uncover to the tear duct area just to brighten up those eyes a bit. It's looking good. And it's time for lips. So I'm lining my lips with the MAC lip pencil in the color chestnut and I'm going to be using a nude lipstick and I'm going to use a little bit of my Fenty Beauty gloss balm just to finish it all up. And I'm touching up my eyebrows just a bit. I really like this Nudie Patootie palette a lot. Have you guys tried this palette? I think you should because it is definitely women of color friendly. I hope you guys like this look. I plan on coming back and doing another look using this Nudie Patootie palette because it has lots of choices and variations to create some beautiful and stunning looks. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.